shots of friends. I wanted to make a video about body rolls. Body rolls are probably the thing that I get asked about the most from beginners on how to do. And they look really complicated and they look really cool, but they're actually super, super simple. There's a couple of foundations that you need before you start body rolls, but I wanted to make a video to demonstrate one of the techniques I used when I was first starting and hopefully it'll help you. So for those of you that are brand, brand new and don't know what body rolls are, they're very commonly seen in bachata. There's forward and backward body rolls. And there's side to side body rolls. And many other variations of body rolls, but those are the two that are the most common. So for this technique, the first foundation that you need to understand is that the body is split up into compartments. We're mostly gonna be working with the main compartments, but really your entire body can be spliced and compartmentalized in order to gain more muscle control and muscle memory and become a better dancer ultimately. But for this video, we have a compartment of the thighs. We have a compartment of the hips and pelvic region. We have a compartment of the stomach, a compartment of the chest, compartment of the shoulders and collarbone, compartment of the neck, compartment of the head, and the compartment of the arms, which we won't get too much into those, but they do really help for ladies styling. Arms is huge. So um, the next foundation is going to require a doorway or a wall. I really like a doorway because it's kind of narrow and almost like a partner if you don't have one. Um, so that's what I've always used, but you can just do it up against a wall. So when you're first beginning, it might be helpful if you do have the doorway to use it as a brace um, so that you don't, because it's kind of an awkward movement when you're not familiar with it. And the brace will help you get more confident and be able to go slower with your body so that you build muscle and the memory more quickly. Seems counterintuitive, but it actually does work. Um, I also recommend you try to dance in heels because almost always when you're out dancing, you're going to be dancing in heels and it also builds calf strength and gets your toes used to dancing in heels. So there's a lot of benefits there. If you don't have heels, you can just do it with bare feet. No big deal. So to start against the wall, the forward and backward roll, you're going to begin by bringing your head into the doorway, then your neck, then your shoulders and chest, then your stomach, then your hips and pelvis, then your thighs, and push yourself out. Then you're going to always want to try to go in the opposite direction directly after that. So for there, you're going to go thighs, hips, stomach, chest, shoulders, neck, and head, pushing yourself away. So whenever you do the one way, it's good to do the other way because it, when you're actually dancing, it makes it a lot easier to get in and out of rolls to know how to, go, how to mirror the roll you just did. So to do that without hands, when you get a little bit stronger and more confident, it's head, neck, shoulders, chest, stomach, pelvic region, thighs, and push away. Then the opposite direction, thighs, pelvis, stomach, chest, shoulders, neck, and head. You can do it backward as well, but I'm just gonna demonstrate here the side version. So for side rolls, without using arms, you're just gonna go head, neck, shoulders, chest, stomach, hips, thighs, and push out. Then the opposite way, thighs, hips, stomach, chest, shoulders, neck, and head. And you really, like I said, you wanna, if you go one way, go the other way. The slower you can make this movement, actually, ultimately, the better, in my opinion. Um, if you guys have any questions or you're getting stuck somewhere on the roll, um, leave a comment, I'll try to help you out. It's sometimes helpful to think of yourself like a snake um, to get in the mood of doing body rolls. Um, if you have any, if you want personal, personal recommendations or videos designed for something else specific, I'm happy to take comments on what the next video should be. Thanks for watching.